What happened previously on the intergalactic nemesis, Jason? Can you say yikes, Buzz? Yikes, Buzz! Our heroes found themselves trapped in the central hive by a dangerous enemy! You will feel their pain. <laughs> you thought you had escaped! Yet you fell right into my trap! Lucky for me that you met this man. Hello, my Rosaston! Jean Pierre! You traitor! What can I say? His pockets are very deep, no? You know. That is, of course, one final step to making this hive functional. That's my wall. Release the sludge. <laughs> oh, our extraterrestrial friends are prone to desiccation. A dire set of affairs for the three of you, I'm afraid. <laughs> The sludge! Yes! Sludge! It's the very foundation of all Zygonian life. This chamber must be sealed and filled to the brim to hydrate the Zygonian egg sacs! <laughs> I'd rather die here than live to see the nightmare you've created, monster! The three of you will miss a very exciting era. After the 162-year gestation period, these newly hatched spawn will join the main Zygonian fleet as they arrive from outer space. And together, they will enslave all humanity! <laughs> and for my small part in helping to manipulate this mercenary masterpiece, the Zygonians have allowed me to rule all the Earth! <laughs> Farewell! <laughs> You'll never get away with this villain! Oh, I do beg to differ. This bear wall. Take us up. As you wish. Ow! Molly here. Uh, climb on my back. I know it's not much, but if there's any chance of survival, we'll give you a few more seconds. Jean-Pierre, no! It's all a sludge, scum king! Get your pants off! Ah! Oh no! It burns! Oh. Holy! Jean-Pierre, hurry up and get that thing down here. We've only got seconds. What's happening? You mean you were bluffing this whole time? Oui, Monsieur Wilcott. Always, my allegiance belongs only to Mademoiselle Sloan. Everyone, aboard the scaffold fit, we have no time to waste! The sludge, she stops here. Now, to the surface. What happened back there? Whose side are you on? Oh, Ben, Jean-Pierre's an old friend. I had the kids send him a telegram from the train. You mean... You've been stringing me along this whole time? Of course. What did you expect? You coming out of nowhere? No references? No past? Raving about sludge monsters from outer space? You sounded like a prize loon. But it's true. Everything that you have said is true. Oh, don't you see? This is going to be the story of the century. I see. Yeah, I must say, your acting is Oscar caliber. Oh, yeah, you, you certainly had me fooled. Just call me the next time you need someone to play the gullible sap. Gosh, Doc, it's not like that. I'm sorry, Ben. I thought you were crazy. I didn't think about your feelings. I'm truly sorry. Well... As long as we're clearing the air, I think there's something else 
you should know. I've come a long way to tell you this story, Miss Sloan. Further than you could possibly imagine. How far you ask, I'll tell you. Yes, my name's Ben Wilcott. And sure, I'm a librarian from Flagstaff, but what you don't know, what no one in the world knows because it's too impossible to be true is that I'm from the future. The future Earth. It's a war ravaged, doomed place. And I've come back to change that. You're from the future? That's right, Timmy. Wow! This is like something straight out of H.G. Wells! You've read The Time Machine, haven't you? Well, I guess you wouldn't have to read it. I mean, you've lived it. Okay, wow. hold the hero worship a sec, kid. Just, what is it with you, Wilcott? Uh, the next story always has to be more fantastic than the first? Just, who are you, Mr. Ben Wilcott? Uh, I'm Ben Wilcott. I'm from the future. How do you people ever get anything done? My friends, I have no liking to interrupt. But if I am not mistaken, we have a central eye and a race of aliens to destroy, no? You're right. You got any explosives up your sleeve there? Wait a minute, I have an idea. Jean-Pierre, do you still have that shaker of salt? Mm, mais non. I left her at Le Tavern. The dangers of my work do not allow me to carry salt upon my person. <laughs> well, we need salt now. Well, I'm no food expert, Ben, but there might be some in this. Salt water taffy. <laughs> Brilliant, kid. Perfect. Timmy, I want you to chew up that taffy and spit it on the egg sample. Spit it out? Just do it. Hey, it's okay, Timmy. Oh, jeez. All right. I knew it. There's a reason we have no access to salt in my time. You're going to fill us in? Well, Mysterion gave me the clue when he said desiccation. And that means what, Archimedes? Don't you see? Salt destroys Psygonians! Timmy, throw in the gear. Whoa. Oh no! Oh, she's not gonna make it! Come on, truck, veer to the left. Just a little more. Come on, you can do it. Veer to the left. Just a little more. Come on, you can do it. Come on! The Intergalactic Nemesis. The adventure continues online and in person, all at theintergalacticnemesis.com. Dude, Jitterbug.
do a jitterbug. <laughs> You look so good, Kiana. Oh, man. Yeah, you look so good, girlfriend. Is that a new flash?